Ladies and gentlemen, I turn to you because Europe, our common home, is threatened. At this very moment, a hybrid war is taking place on the Polish-Belarusian border, which Alexander Lukashenko, with the backroom support of Vladimir Putin, has declared against the entire European Union. From a distance, these events may look like an ordinary migration crisis, but they are not. This is a political crisis created for a special purpose. The objective is to destabilize the situation in Europe, first time since the end of the Cold War 30 years ago. Over the weeks, we have provided ample evidence that it is the Belarusian regime that is bringing migrants to the border in order to transport these people then to Western Europe. Today, the target is Poland, but tomorrow it will be Germany, Belgium, France or Spain. This is the concept of organization of migration routes. Lukashenko's and Putin's pressure is already being felt throughout Europe. Each of us is paying for the rising energy prices caused by the drastic reduction of gas supplies to European countries. This is just the beginning. The dictators will not stop. I want to assure you, Poland will not yield to blackmail and will do everything to stop the evil threatening Europe. For centuries, Poland has been guarding our common home when invaders, tyrants, and later totalitarian dictatorship had to be confronted, we always stood in the front line. This was the Polish solidarity with other free world countries, long before the European Union and NATO were born. But at the same time, I appeal to all the people of the free world. Poland, Lithuania, and Latvia need your solidarity and support today. Right now, I want to thank everyone who has been supporting so far our actions on the border with Belarus. I thank the countries of the Union, European Commission, the United Kingdom, and the United States of America. We formed alliances so that in times of trouble, we could be together, not apart. To support each other and not let ourselves be divided. No matter where we live, we all know this one thing. When someone tries to break into our home, we defend our home. This principle also applies to national borders, the borders of the European Union and NATO, our common home. Let us stand together. Let us defend Europe.